are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, um, a bit of an unfortunate video here. I mean, this is Dokkan, but this is also covering on, uh, you know, just Dragon Ball in general news. Um, I mean, I've been watching Dragon Ball since, dude, like, 96 or something like that. I don't know. Like, I was a baby, basically, when I started watching Dragon Ball. So, even besides the ramifications, this is, I think, almost definitely going to have on Dokkan. Um, I was actually just very excited for the movie in general. And Piccolo is one of my favorite characters. I mean, any long-time Dragon Ball fan who's been watching, you know, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z for years, Piccolo has such a huge role um, earlier on in the series. Well, I mean, earlier on compared to where we are in Dragon Ball Super, um, that it is nice that he's going to be getting some major shine in this movie. And unfortunately, the movie was postponed. Now, I've got a, a sort of a bunch of, like, different, like, info and stuff like that about why this happened. Um, this right here, this is an official account. Um, an official, like, Dragon Ball anime account or whatever right here. Um, and then here's, like, sort of like a news release, I don't know, on the movie site or whatever. So, about the postponement of uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Um, this was scheduled to be released nationwide, so, you know, Japan, uh, on April 22nd. By the way, as far as, like, a North American release and, like, other countries... Right now, that there there is no solid date. I mean, even now, the Japanese release date of this movie is not... There's no date right now. Um, but it's like, we'll see when the movie is eventually going to come out. And again, how this is going to correlate. Uh, this date right here, when this was going to come out. I pulled up a couple of units that released, and we'll, we'll, we'll be able to take a look at some stuff here. Um, so the movie is going to come out on 22nd. Um, and then... Okay, wait. Uh, movie was released... Oh, not, wait, wait, wait. The movie, which was scheduled to be released, was released due to unauthorized access to the network by a third party at the production company Toei Animation. So essentially, Toei got hacked, right? I mean, this has happened to a lot of like major companies, stuff like that, recently. Like Twitch got hacked last year, right? Like it's a it's a thing that happens. Um, so basically, it's just a tough situation. So they're postponing the movie, essentially, um, is what's going on here. Now. Not only, like, again, who knows, like, how long this is going to push back the movie, but I do think that this is going to have probably a significant impact on Dokkan itself, right? Because it's like, if we take a look at this, April 22nd, right? So we have that date in mind. Here was last year's Golden Week units, right? So Golden Week... Um, what it is, it's a string of holidays in Japan at the end of April. So, like, if, if you notice frequently major sort of, like, you know, anime stuff, video games, movies, you know, major events and gacha games, video games, like, all this type of stuff, like, the end of April is always a big, like, sort of, like, release window um, because there's so many holidays and people got extra spending money and blah, 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 right? Like, the end of April, you always see a bunch of stuff happen. So here we have last year's Dual Dokkan Fest. Now, there's even more to talk about, too, because remember, they dropped on Global at the same time. It was very surprising. Um, the This Dual Dokkan Fest ended up being on Global at the same time. Then the previous year, we had uh, Gotenks and Fat Boo, right? Notice that they came out on April 24th. The year before that was Trunks and uh, Zamasu right here, uh, which was April 26th. And then the year before that, it was not a dual Dokkan Fest. Um, Evolution Blue Vegeta was the uh, Golden Week unit. But uh, Jiren was on his banner. It was not Jiren's first banner. Um, but he did get a Dokkan Awakening um, after he was previously on um, UI Goku's Saiyan Day banner, March 18th. And then Jiren got his Dokkan Awakening um, right here, April 26th, along with Evolution Blue Vegeta. So you guys could clearly see, right? All of these dates right here... It's like, it's, this is all the Golden Week stuff, which so closely lines up with this release date right here for the movie. Um, so it was a very safe assumption that these characters from the movie would probably be the Golden Week theme. Um, keep in mind that, like, these games and stuff like that, like, they know ahead of time what's coming, right? Remember that UI Goku, in UI Goku, came out the day that he was revealed in the anime. In UI Goku, like, it, like, the episode happened, and then they tweeted it out, like, immediately after the episode, like, oh, he's coming to Dokkan tonight. It was crazy. I remember it was absolutely insane, right, having something like that uh, occur. 
um, you know, even Vegito Blue back in the day, right? He dropped, you know, it, it was like the anime episode aired, and then it was like the following Monday he was coming to Dokkan. People were so excited, right? Um, now we look at it, and it's like, I, I just, there, even if the movie characters were going to be Golden Week, which seemed very, very likely to me, um, I think now they probably would not be, right? And we have, like, sort of, like, further evidence that we could uh, show right here. So, here we go. This, they were going to do a novel for the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. Um, and due to the movie being postponed, so is the novel. So, uh, the novel is not coming out. The movie is not coming out. Right? So, it's like, I, this is going to have, like, big ramifications um, across, like, the entirety of, like, well, really, like, every single property that Toei's got, right? Because, like, I was, I was just sort of, like, looking up a couple of articles, seeing this is before the Dragon Ball Super movie got uh, postponed. What it was, I think a lot of people have been upset because the One Piece anime, again, I, I don't really follow One Piece. I know some, some basic info. I'm not really following One Piece, but I know it's leading up to, like, a really, really big, like, uh, climactic moment. And so people are very bummed that it, it's going to be basically, like, One Piece, all these shows are just sort of, like, on hiatus right now, right? So it looks like on March 6th is when Toei was hacked. Um, an unauthorized third party attempted to hack their internal systems. Toei then decided to shut down their online store and internal system as a safety measure. And I guess this being off is just not allowing them to sort of work on the production of all these shows and movies and stuff like that, right? Um... I don't think there's really, yeah, and then uh, reading the rest of the article, it starts to get into, like, One Piece spoilers, stuff like that, which I'm sure people wouldn't be happy about, so, yeah, um, I, okay, so we have that, and then there's this other article I had pulled up right here, so, right, they announced that the, uh, film is gonna be delayed, uh, film will focus on a superhero aspect, yep, blah, 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 alright, not really any interesting info here, okay, here we go. So they announced on March 11th that they were hacked on the 6th, um, shut down a part of the company's systems. Uh, they're investigating the matter and added the hack will affect the broadcast schedule for One Piece, Dragon Quest, Delicious Party, Precure, and then Digimon Ghost Game, as well as, again, movies and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see. Um, so they're not airing. Yeah, it, it, it's hard to tell. I know that the Dragon Ball Super uh, superhero movie was not done at the time, right? Um, maybe if that was, you know, completed prior to this hack, that would have changed things. Um, I did see there was a tweet from the director of the film. Uh, you know, it was kind of a positive tweet saying that they'll use the opportunity to increase the quality of the film. So, you know, like that, it's good. This always happens, like, like video games and I guess like sort of like these anime movies, anime episodes and stuff like that. They're always on like such a tight schedule, like just a printing press. And anytime there's delays and stuff like that... It, usually is a good thing for the actual quality of the product so they have more time to work on it and make it better so it is a shame that the movie's going to be pushed back but at the very least i think it does mean it's going to probably look a, a bit better i mean i don't know how much better but it probably will look a little bit better right now for dokkan here's the thing with dokkan damn i there's one thing i forgot to pull up can i i don't know that i would easily be able to pull it up from here um okay Basically, I do personally think that the Dragon Ball Super Superhero stuff was going to be coming for Golden Week this year. I do. Um, when Dragon Ball Super Broly dropped, Gogeta Blue did come out, I want to say about three weeks later. Because um, I believe the Japanese release date for Dragon Ball Super Broly. Let me actually pull Let me pull this up and let, let's talk about this real fast. Um, but I believe the Japanese release date for Dragon Ball Super uh, Broly was December 10th. Um, let me see what the date was. It was December 14th um, is when the movie actually came out, right? So the movie came out on the 14th, and then Blue Gogeta came out on the 26th. Now you could say, okay, well, there was you know, almost two weeks of a difference there. Um, but the big difference between this is that the release date, the timing... You know, Dokkan knew a long in advance when this was going to come. So they're sitting there like, okay, we'll, it'll, we'll make it the New Year's. Boom, the next week. Gogeta, Broly will be the New Year's. It'll be hugely successful. Again, Dokkan and these companies, you know, or these games, Legends, Universe, all these games, right? They, they all are like, no, and are ready to bring the stuff out. 
So I guarantee you the plan has been to release the superhero stuff um, for Golden Week. And now, I mean, I would almost uh, like 99.9% certainty we are not getting movie stuff for Golden Week. Um, Dokkan and Legends and stuff like that, they don't just make shit and then the next month it comes out, right? So like Legends Festival for Dragon Ball Legends was the Goku and Vegeta Legendary Finish Unit. Right? They dropped at the end of November, start of December, and then Dokkan had almost the exact same unit um, drop at the end of January, start of February for their anniversary. Both games were aware of each other's, like, release dates and stuff like that, like, and knowing that these characters, like, they're planned months, months in advance. So, I'm sure um, this is going to heavily affect, again, both Dokkan and Legends, because I think Dokkan and Legends... Two weeks ago, are like, yeah, okay, we're, you know, movie stuff, you know, dropping for Golden Week. And now, it's just not going to happen. So, I I don't know exactly what's going to happen for Dokkan. I would not be shocked if this does sort of, like, like, the rest of the year's schedule, I think, potentially could look a little bit weird. The idea I had, and one of the other things I wanted to pull up right here, I mean, it, it would actually, I think, be rather tough to pull this up. Um, but I did want to, yeah, it, it would be a lot of, scroll. I mean, I could, I could scroll for a second while we're talking. Um, but Tanabata this year, I fully expect to be like the final Spirit Bomb Goku that takes down Kid Buu. Um, and then part two for the Tanabata would be LR Kid Buu. That is currently what I assume, um, we're going to see happen, right, for Tanabata. Um, my reasoning for this is that the previous year... New Year's was Janemba and PyCon, and then the New Year's, like, 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 introduction to the New Year was Janemba and Gogeta on it, right? And then Tanabata ended up being LR Go Gogeta and LR Janemba. So, I would not be shocked this year if we get a dual Dokkan Fest, Super Saiyan 3 and Kid Buu, and then I think for Tanabata, we could easily get, you know, LR Final Spirit Bomb Goku, right? You know, we'd have, maybe Vegeta could be part of the card, Hercule could be part of the card, whatever, um, and then a Kid Buu as a part 2 LR. They could easily do him as like a start of turn buff Buu that would transform or something like that. I, I, number one, that would be a massive buff to, to Kid Buu and these Majin characters if they did that. But that's what I'm kind of expecting the Tanabata celebration to be. So I wonder if they might possibly be able to swap those, right? So like what they would do, did I skip? I did it. Yeah, here it is right here. This is the, the New Year's greetings right here. This doesn't... This isn't evidence of the idea I'm putting forth, but it, it, this at least shows us something. Also, I remember going into the year 2018, the New Year event, I don't know how I'd even pull that up besides just my my video from, from that day, you know, uh, January 1st of 2018. Um, at the time, it was like Jiren and UI Goku was the picture. And 2018, you know, UI Goku came out shortly afterwards, Jiren came out shortly afterwards, right? All those characters release right afterwards so um i will not be shocked um if we do see these characters for tanabata but my idea is that they could actually i don't know what the logistics are of this if it's even really that possible but they could potentially just swap things they could take the what would be tanabata so again like a theoretical goku and you know buff boo and a kid boo or whatever make that golden week and then potentially, depending upon, you know, what the new release date of the movie would be, they can make the movie stuff Tanabata. I think there's a very good chance um, that, like, you know, now maybe a movie stuff would release for Tanabata. Um, I assume, because it's like, you know, new... Dude, the last time we had, like, new, like, content like this was Gogeta Blue and Dragon Ball Super Broly, right? Like, so, like, there's new characters for them to sell and put out there. I'm... T I telling y'all they're gonna want to slap them on like a major celebration perhaps they could even be worldwide the movie stuff could just be worldwide this year especially now i do really think it was going to be golden week I, I think that the opportunity was there right the hype of the movie is strong golden week everyone's on vacation everyone's got extra money bam they're dropping the movie characters in dokkan like it was it was boom it was free real estate for them um but now the schedule is obviously going to be switched up I do think that when we see these movie characters, it would be one of these major slots. So like Tanabata, Worldwide, New Year's, one of those, just to maximize profits on what would be like, you know, the the most 
Well, I, don't, I mean, I, who knows? We don't even know what's in the movie yet, right? We know that there is Ultimate Piccolo, you know, the same form Ultimate Gohan unlocked by Elder Kai. Um, Piccolo now has that exact. That's confirmed, by the way. I still see people every day are going, I don't know why people are theorizing. It's not a theory. Like, it's they literally confirmed it themselves. Um, you know, like, like in the trailer, it says that Piccolo is, it's ultimate Piccolo, right? So we know of that new character. Is Cell coming back? Is Android 21 going to be in the movie? Is Gohan going to have a new form? You know, some of those types of characters would be massively hype in this game. Um, so it'll be exciting when they do come out. So let me know what you guys think about the Toei hack, the movie being pushed back and the effect this might have on Dokkan. By the way, this would affect Legends too, for sure. I guarantee you just the same way Dokkan was probably leading up to the release of the movie prepared to drop this stuff you know, for Golden Week. I bet you Legends was as well. I bet you they were going to drop those characters, and they probably now are unable to just the same way Dokkan is unable to, right? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, very unfortunate, again, because I, I was very excited to see everything about the movie, not just even have the characters in Dokkan. So, you know, we will see. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all next time.